Parents say an itchy issue is growing at some schools in the valley. Head lice. Several mothers wrote to us saying lice is a problem at Ronald Reagan Elementary School, but also other schools in the district. And they blame a new policy by the school board. KMIR's Angel Monroe investigates this problem that's making parents skin crawl. Corinne DeLeo says there's an outbreak of lice at her daughter's school. I spent five and a half hours picking every single thing out of her hair to make sure I made her sleep in mayonnaise for three days. Corinne says she's heard of five cases in her daughter's class alone. Her best friend, her mom is telling her that she can't hug her friends anymore. And there's a girl that was in her class that I knew had it and wasn't sent to the nurse's office. And I had to tell my daughter not to sit next to her. Other parents agree that lice is a problem on campus. Holly Newman's daughter had lice once, but she's not sure where she picked them up. It was traumatizing. I, oh, I like freaked out and ran to the store. I got the stuff right away. And I just felt itchy and gross. I just redid the whole house, cleaned everything. I guess the district changed the policy last year that it's more of a pest problem than a health issue. So now parents are scratching their heads about why the district would make this change. I came to the Desert Sands Unified School District to ask them why. In the case of head lice, the uh, Nurse Association and uh, the California Department of Health both supported the changes also. The California School Board Association recommended the policy change. That students would only be sent home from school if they have adult active lice and passed the policy also allowed schools to send students home with nets or eggs. The policy was changed here this summer. I spoke with Lenny Salazar. He's visiting from Colorado and says their preschool is also having a head lice issue. Yes, it is uncomfortable for your children. Yes, it, it can be, you know, a little distasteful for the parents, but all in all, it's, it's, it's not that you know, detrimental to uh, your child's health. The Center for Disease Control says most lice eggs are very unlikely to hatch and are unlikely to be transferred to other people. The CDC says the burden of absenteeism outweighs the risks of head lice and misdiagnosis of lice eggs is very common. Lenny agrees with the CDC. But it's not necessary for, for the children to miss that type of school in, in, in that amount. I think it's a good change. The CDC has, uh, has done a very good job in so far of, of protecting our interests. So I think that uh, we should let it flow. But other parents worry about students with active lice staying in the classroom. I'd like them at least removed from the classroom, you know, just in case they, you know, get close and hug and touch each other. Parents um, are allowed, permitted to have the child stay in school that day. Usually the student is isolated, in some cases in the nurse's room and or principal's office. When children return to school, they are rechecked for lice, but allowed to return even if there are eggs. I don't know. I'm kind of on the fence about it. Corinne would like to see the district return to the old policy of no lice and no eggs. They're scanned that they're not allowed to be back into the school unless even the the bugs and the eggs are completely gone. The district told me they're not hearing an increase in complaints, but would consider changing the policy if data shows there is a rising lice problem. I'm Angela Monroe for KMIR News. Ick. <laughs> I know, huh? <laughs>